Hello, I'm Langston, and I'm back on my channel, Jimlandia, and welcome to my first episode of the Ratchet Podcast, the podcast for niggas gymnastics. It's going to be a weekly podcast. Y'all know y'all done been waiting to see it. So here I am. I got a lot of shit I'm going to talk about in this podcast. I ain't trying to have y'all on here forever, but it's a lot of stuff I got to get off my chest. Like, So the first thing I want to talk about is Gabby was missing from camp, as well as Suni and Shiley's. And y'all was y'all was pissing me the fuck off. Like I'm coming in hot. Like y'all really pissed me the fuck off when it came to that to Gabby being missing. Cause it's like everyone was like, oh, she don't realistically got a chance for the Olympics. You know, they already count her out before she like she ain't even she ain't even step foot on the competition. And y'all already talking shit. You get what I'm saying? Like, and no, like I'm sorry. They dated all this foaming out the mouth in 2012. In 2015, now 2016. No, this year you're going to shut the fuck up. Y'all ain't going to keep doing this shit going, going into this year. And y'all love to do this. And like I said, this is race oriented. It is because y'all don't do this to, to white women or, or Asian women. Y'all, you only do this to black women. Y'all did this same shit to Shylise and Simone last year. You know, when Simone, you know, when it was announced Simone was coming back, y'all was like, you well, she's probably not at her old level. She's probably just gonna be a two event specialist. She's, you know, she's not gonna be all that. You know what I'm saying, Shailise? Oh, she's probably injured. That's why she put out a classic. She 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 might not make the world's team. Y'all love to doubt a black woman. Y'all love to do that shit. Like y'all love to doubt black women. That's what y'all love to fucking do. And then y'all motherfuckers want to sit up here. And be posting Martin Luther King because it's Martin Luther King week, right? His 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 um birthday was earlier this week. Y'all still standing on fucking bullshit. And y'all want to sit up and act like you you allies, but you really fake as fuck. You not for us, and you don't want to see Gabby on the team. That's what it is. And when you get when you have any chance to want to tear shit down from a black woman, you gonna sit up here and do that. That's what y'all gonna do. And y'all ain't gonna sit up here and get away with it. No widow formed against Gabby shall prosper, okay? She going to do her big one every fucking time. She did her big one in 2012. She did her big one in 2015 when y'all doubted her in her comeback. She did her big one in 2016 when she made it to Rio. Gabby finds a way to do her big one every fucking time. So y'all can come with all of this, you know, praying on her downfall. But the harder y'all seem to pray, the more she seemed to succeed. So like I said, she could never be enough, never be enough for y'all, for y'all, like, McFuck y'all niggas, because it's like, she can never be enough for y'all. And it's like, come 2024, this year, y'all gonna shut the fuck up. Anybody who got some 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 rah-rah to say about Gabby, you gonna get cussed the fuck out. But y'all don't do this shit to SUNY. Like, SUNY literally sat up here with, you know, we know she had her kidney issues. She was only competing vault and beam. And most of y'all still had her going to the world team last year. Like, y'all still, you know, uh, thought she could get her shit together. Same thing with Grace. Same thing with Riley. Same thing with all these other hoes. Y'all give them all of this grace. But you don't do that when it comes to Gabby. You don't do that when it comes to Shiley. You don't do it when it comes to Simone. You don't do it when it comes to Rebecca. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's the clear instances for me. And that shit, no, like I'm I'm so fucking over it. And I want to move on to Mary Lou Retton because, you know, Mary, you know, obviously she just recovered from cancer and, you know, she had her little GoFundMe. And, you know, I'm going to be real with you. A motherfucker ain't shed a tear. Like I looked at that and I was like, Mary Lou Retton don't stood on being a Trump supporter for a hot minute. She always talking about Donnie. Um, you know, she was rooting for him. She was campaigning with him. Like she rode for Donnie. She comes from the most Republican state in the country, West Virginia. And you know, what you look like supporting somebody who don't who don't made it his goal to ban Obamacare, but here you are begging for health care. But you look stupid as fuck. You do look stupid. And you know, I you know, oh I, I'm glad that Jim Tenet was they was on her ass. But like I feel like you you're not allowed to say the truth. Like this bitch don't vote it against her own best interests. What you think was going to happen? Like you had someone saying they didn't support health care and here you are begging for health insurance. What? How the fuck you don't have health insurance? 
That that's what don't make sense to me. Cause she don't have numerous other surgeries and shit like that before. How you don't have health insurance? What happened to the bag that you had in the eighties and nineties? Like, where did your money go? You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. Two plus two not equaling four. Maybe it's j just me, but you know what I'm saying? Like the math, the math ain't mathing. Like I don't, I don't know. You get what I'm saying? Like I don't know, but like. The, the shit like I don't know bitch I, I'm not no expert at algebra like listen math was my weakest subject but I know that this equation don't solve for x like the shit just not making sense right like what what the fuck Mary come on girl like and I know y'all gonna try to drag me for saying what the fuck I'm saying she stood on that Trump shit for a minute she stood on all of that. So wh 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 where the health care at? Like what you thought was going to happen wh when you when you supported somebody who said they was going to get rid of Obamacare? What you thought was going to happen? Like, yeah, you know, she raised all that damn money and people started wondering if she even had it. I'm not saying she didn't have cancer, but I do find it mysterious. You won't show where, where your money going to. Don't end up going to jail for that because people be going to jail for, for stealing their GoFundMe money. But like I said, good good luck to her. I hope she heals and I hope she realizes, you know, the stupidity of her actions. But she's not gonna do that. She ain't gonna do that. She's just gonna she just gonna you know blame the blame the the, the, the niggas. That's what they gonna do. They gonna blame blame somebody for 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 their problems. That's what they do. So now I want to move on to Sky because Sky Blakely has been showing us a lot of training videos. Like she has a chunk. and I'll be real with you. I don't know what this has to do with the price of sushi in Japan. Like. I don't think this affects the price of oxtail in Jamaica or the price of pasta in Italy. Like, at the end of the day, like, this is not enough for me. Like, you don't have two world championships to prove your worth. And you ain't done nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I heard people trying to compare to Cara Eaker, but Cara Eaker stood on business in the team finals, though. Like, Cara Eaker, she might have not brought no medals home, but she put up 14s in the team finals. Sky was, Sky fell last year and she didn't even fucking make it to the to the um to the event finals this year on bean you get what i'm saying it's like girl you need to you need to build your consistency up you try to do all these upgrades you're not even consistent with what you have right now you feel what i'm saying like i know it sounds like i'm being being rude but it's like stand on business guy and i you know i feel like next quad is gonna be her quad and like i said i don't like how y'all be coming for her because like, listen, I'm hard as fuck on Sky, but I'm hard as fuck on everyone that's inconsistent. Y'all hard on Sky, but you give Grace a pass. You give Riley a pass. You give Larissa Yordaki a pass. You gave Angelina Melnikova a pass when that bitch was inconsistent. You you spare these white hoes. You spare these white women, but when it's time for when it's time to hold a black woman accountable, y'all the first one to, to, to be jumping out the woodworks. And that's something I can't fucking stand. It's like stand on stand on the same shit you stand on for everybody, but y'all not gonna do that. Y'all not y'all not doing that. But like I said, her upgrades is cute. Like you know, um, some of it. Like the problem with Sky is I don't think she has that much upgrade. I think she can upgrade on Vol and Floor. Her beam is practically maxed out, and that's her best event. So it's like I don't know where where she can dramatically improve. You know what I'm saying like. Her only shot, in my opinion, is to be top two at trials, which is a really tall order for her, but not impossible. But I don't care if she hit all events. I still wouldn't take her just because of, like I said, when someone shows you who they are, believe them. And, you know, you can't give somebody a third chance. Like a second chance is one thing, but a third chance is crazy. I'm sorry. Uh, unless there's no other alternatives. Another thing is, you know, SUNY, SUNY's starting to piss me the fuck off because she done went back to doing this one and a half giant turn um, on bars, this this 0.5 deduction. And why nobody said that? Y'all lying to her. Y'all gassing her up like, oh, look at her. Like, y'all don't see this 5 tenth handstand? Like, you don't see the deductions. Do y'all want her on the podium or not? Like, that's do y'all want her to succeed or not? Cause y'all, I don't, I can't stand. I feel like in the gym tonight, y'all just be lying. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, bitch. Do y'all not see this fucking inductions? Y'all blind now? Like, come on now, come, come on, gang. Like, 
Thune's Pike Jaeger does it for me every time. But like that, when I saw that one and a half turn, I was like, I know you fucking lying. And you know, Shailise, girl, like Shailise still trying to do this, but harder while just like, man, you know the judges be coming for you, especially on bars. Why would you do that? But like, what's the game? Like, what, girl, you you need to start, you know, working on your double tuck form. I mean, your double front form, and try to put in your um, what is it? Your your eponymous skill, your starter to not be able, right? But she, you worried about this Baharda watch, girl? Shy, come on now, come come on now. Like you know, Shy's bars this year was so fucking beautiful. But it's like it's the little shit that you know. Shylise can just do a little bit of shit, and she can get a fifteen. And she's if she's getting in a fifteens on bars, she can contend for gold. You have to realize they won gold with fifteen one. I don't think that Kalia Namor and the, the Chinese girl are going to dramatically improve on bars. I think that they basically maxed out on bars. I don't think they're going to dramatically improve come Paris. So, you know, if, if Shiley just improves, she should be up there with them, even with lower difficulty, just because of her execution. But, you know, she dr improved dramatically on bars and beam this year. Vaude and Fleur, that's, that's what we're looking for, come, you know, come in the future. You know, Connor and Jay looking pretty decent in NCAA, um, especially Connor. Um, you know, her full in, I'm so glad she got a full in being, be, um, full in bars and smell. She was on that double pike shit when she was in Elite in 2022. So, you know, I love that. You know, I love to see it. And, you know, Jay, you know, I like that she's not, you know, doing all, all the events. Like she's kind of pacing herself. You get what I'm saying? So, yeah, that's something I really like to see. So the last thing I want to talk about is recently, um, you've seen a lot of people on the internet call for USA to be banned from the Olympics, um, which I take a big issue with, but I'm going to, you know, go more in depth and I'm just going to explain the situation. So as we all know, recently, um, this week, America decided to strike a rebel group in Yemen, the Houthis, which has prompted a lot of people on the internet, a lot of more liberal people to try to get America banned um, from the Olympics without understanding context. So let me go in depth explaining the situation. So the Houthis, which are a group in Yemen who are supported by Iran, like Hamas in Palestine, Iran, which is America's greatest enemy, um, one of America's greatest threats, um, Iran, one of Iran's greatest enemies, which are Saudi Arabia and Israel. Saudi Arabia, which was getting a whole bunch of weapons from America under the Trump administration um, was using those weapons to indiscriminately attack numerous people in Yemen. So Biden decided to ban giving weapons to Saudi Arabia, and they decided to take the Houthis off of the internationally recognized terrorist group organizations for the United States. So, you know, the last couple of years, USA and Houthis were on decent terms, you could say. But recently, because of the, the conflict in Israel and Palestine, the Houthis have decided to block the Red Sea, which is a very important global shipping lane, roughly 15% of the world's trade, 20% of the world's oil, you know, numerous of the world's resources pass through that specific choke point. So because of that, that prompted an international response because it's like, y'all fucking up the global economy. You know what I'm saying? Like the same people complain, it'd be the same ones complaining about go gas prices going up. What you think gonna happen when someone's blocking all the oil from coming to you? You know what I'm saying? So the USA as well as the UK decided to launch a, a, a joint strike on, you know, the Houthi targets in Yemen. You know, the Houthi strategy was honestly stupid as fuck because most of Israel's trade doesn't even pass through that area. Most of Israel mainly trades with countries that are north of that, um, in particular the United States, as well as um the United States and a lot of other countries, for example, like, you know, Europe and et cetera. So that's not even really hurting the United States anyway, in terms of, um, they're, they're not even hurting Israel. So I understand what they're trying to do. They're trying to create more awareness for Palestine, but it's like, y'all not even hurting Israel where, where, it, ma where it matters. Who y'all are hurting are numerous African countries, in particular Ethiopia, um, you know, Djibouti, as well as India, Japan, China, South Korea, a lot of countries who are on the other end of that of that area 
they're the ones that are hurting tremendously from that global blockade, which launched a global intervention in towards it. So some of y'all act like y'all can't understand geopolitics. Like y'all don't take the time to read and understand basic ass information. You want to just sit up here and run with shit. So yeah, that's that. So I wanted to kind of go in depth since hoes are calling for USA's ban. I'm going to explain the whole, the whole tea. As well as Israel's, some of y'all fail to realize that Russia is not banned from the Olympics because they invaded Ukraine. They are banned from the Olympics because they broke the Olympic truce. The Olympic truce means that after the Olympics, athletes are supposed to have a certain amount of time to get back home before a war starts. Russia broke that when they decided to invade Ukraine. When they invaded Ukraine a couple of days after the Winter Olympics ended in China. So again, like before y'all can run with shit, make sure you, you have all your facts together. Make sure your rah-rah come up receipts. And this is something I said. Have your rah-rah come factual because some of y'all not doing that. Y'all just running with shit without having a fax to back it up. And the last thing I want to talk about is, you know, I told niggas, I told y'all niggas on the internet, niggas in general, to mind your business when it came to Palestine and Israel. And some of y'all have failed to do that. And as of recently, um, we have seen where, you know, Palestinian supporters, like, for example, Joe Biden and his administration decided to have like a memorial for the Mother Manual shooting in Charleston. And we saw a whole bunch of Palestinians, you know, disrupt that memorial for pro-Palestine conflicts. Basically that a couple, you know, in 2015, nine black people were murdered in that church by white supremacists. And they tried to make that about Palestinians. And recently, you know, there was a summit talking about black women um, black women are three times more likely to die in childbirth than white women. And they tried to make that about Palestinians who, Palestinian women who are dying, giving birth, et cetera, in Palestine. So here they are sabotaging our movement for their own gain. And this is what I said, like, we don't gain anything from supporting anybody else. And, you know, their arguments are totally valid. But why are you trying to take away from our movement to get your point of, point of view across? See what I'm saying? That, that is a difference. What they're saying is valid. They have every right to be taught about what they're talking about. But why are they doing that at the expense of us? That's the real question. So, you know, yeah, like we're not gaining anything from doing this. We're not gaining anything from supporting them. And, you know, they've shown us that they don't value us as equals to them. Which is why you have all of these, you know, conflicts in Congo and Haiti and South Sudan. All of these countries, you know, do dealing with similar things that Palestine are dealing with, but nobody cares because they don't value us as the same as them. And until y'all realize that, y'all could be better off. And like I said, minding your business is free. It's free as fuck. And some of y'all niggas don't understand how to do that. And a lot of them have woken up because of what happened at the Mother Emanuel um, Church in Charleston. But it shouldn't take that for y'all to realize. Like I said this shit like a month ago. I said this shit a month ago. And listen, y'all having to learn the hard way that you know sometimes it's just so easy to mind your fucking business. So again, my next video is going to be, a, I'm going to get canceled. Like I'm going to start hell on the gym today. I'm going to come out with a video, the top 10 most overrated gymnasts. And I know y'all want to know who's going to be on that list. Like I need y'all to come on here and defend me because listen, I'm going to be getting dragged, you know, all over the gym tonight. So make sure, you know, come, come, make sure you, you helping me if you get what I'm saying. So, you know, make sure to tune into, you know, my next weekly podcast. And, you know, I got a lot of shit I'm going to be doing on this channel I already told y'all about. So, again, thank you guys so much for tuning into my video. Please like, comment, and subscribe um, down below. Have a nice day, you guys. Goodbye.